Okay, so we're going to make this bracelet with a label chart and with a word chart, like that. So, let's start. It has 11 colors and I'm using a slightly different thread this time, not Nimaji. Then two V one
Here is a quarter of a bracelet. We've made one mushroom and a little bit of grass. And we'll need three more mushrooms, or I think I'll make just two of them, and this will be enough. So, I also wanted to, say, to tell you about the thread. So this thread is a little bit different from Toho Nimodi, which I used earlier. It is silky, but it separates into these little threads. So I tied a knot here. Now it's perfectly fine. And it has a nice silky edge here. So today I've got a few new clasps to choose from for this bracelet. So I think this is a delicate bracelet and I think this one will be too large. Well, let's see. Okay, let's see about this one. I think it's too large. Right? Okay, maybe this one might be too small. This. Let's see. Might be, it's just in place and it has a little floral thing. So I'll check the length of my bracelet while doing it so it should match my hand plus this little clasp. So I'll see you when it's done and we'll add the clasp from both sides. It's a slider clasp, magnet, so like that. Okay, it's ready. Now I've added the first half of the clasp and now I need to add another half. I guess we'll do this this way. So I'll try to form a bracelet like this. Check that it closes and we'll need to figure out where it has to go. Has to be between this probes. Okay. So my goal is to follow this thread to this bead. Is it correct? Let's see.
And we're ready 